okay one numerical values there like for the votes and weight so I want to find the best food will be having best ratings and ratings is given by 4.1 or like something is so to see the number of ratings let's see ratings of the foot ratings of the foot would be like your weight df8 around 51,000 having some man values too right that's cool from 50,000 degrees to 23,000 so, okay now we will run this thing again seven some three three one ninety three length of that and right is to find the best food will have some best rating so how could you find the best rating from the series the code of the logic we have some sort of ratings here like 4.1 like out of 5 4.1 out of 5 or like something like this so to find the best rating between this from 0 to 51,000 elements no, sorry, not 51. It's 23,000 elements. Yes. Mm -hmm. DF of rating start max. Okay. DF of rating. I think it's weight. It's weight there. Weight. Same new. This is the maximum value. Mm -hmm. Any different methods? See, uh, there should be one problem with this while dealing with. So it, it will have to solve that problem first. Say let's you are finding for the ratings so you see this is coming like 4.5 and all those things right so what are the unique values mm -hmm. these are the unique values right that's good so out of this the maximum would be the best food right like the best rating uh, the best food you can say so apart from this all you will have to find the maximum so for that you will need to separate this five and a uh, slash right for that you need to separate those things only then you can measure it 
right? Some different methods split it by and then find max, correct? Split it by. So, what you will write? This dot split. Split works in string methods. So these individual are strings. What I will have to do? Apply some loops over there and then we can solve it. Let's say. For x in the unit rate, Of append zero, right? So after splitting, what you will do? We'll take this value, right? Mm. Okay. Let's see. It's oh. Oh, oh, oh. That would be unit rate of. What the values? It is your particular things, right? So this is your values. So how to find the max of this? You'll be getting some new. You are finding new here. That is an unwanted thing. So we'll remove this. This is good now, right? Now all these are a kind of a string. All these are in a string, right? And now should we find it like rate dot max? Or like once max of this weight. So saying four point nine is the maximum value. Mm -hmm. Out of five, it's four point nine. Okay. So which food is having like for the best now? If we compare with the foods, which food will? So now we know that four point nine is the highest rating of the foods around this twenty three thousand. Uh, like delivery basis on this things so 4.9 is the best one now which food are having like this 4.9 what should be the code hmm. using sort by cool so df dot Sort values by what value will give? Great, sir. Great. 
sort the values by rate. Where is the rate? See, so you are coming like the new, you are having like this new over there. So that will be a different, uh, like that will be a problem. So you can also use group by, hmm? or you can remove this new method, like the new one. So that you can do. It says like new when you will find new. If you can drop this new, like rate news. Yes, in the different methods mm, by rate, uh, added by rate. So you have this data now, right? You have this maximum as 4.9. So you can group elements or like you can think what. Sorting the values by this, you can check on what are the values having 4.9 there, which are the index values having 4.9 as per rate. Mm -hmm. So, how many food having 4.9 rating? We are giving uh, individual plotting of them, right? So this is new, and this is only the problematic one. Uh, this is 52.53 point, there are 1 out of, I think it's 1 out of 5. So this is a graph of like the ratings you are getting there. Mm, that is not good. It's not worthy to write on. In different method. have number of ratings, you have this like kind of all the things right, you are having 4.1 and all this, now you need to find the number of, uh, you can say the number of, the number of, well, let's say address or like order or name of the food, like for the number of food or dish, having the uh, like rating of 4.9.
R of 4.9 let's say R underscore this is equals to this so let this be a list of elements exactly how many food is having right we are not counting for the number of foods which are having so we are finding the number of like uh, ratings the food is having so that would be r dot count Five foods are there having some four point nine of the ratings. I can even uh, display these things like if you want, if you can just like, display this, uh, locate these things like you can read out your uh, data as like uh, pd dot read underscore csv and then you can say this zomato dot csv and then you can say you want to read your data by this rate column as the index values and that would be nice if now you say you want to locate this 4.9 out of 5 so you'll be getting a data i think that would be exactly the number of foods or elements you're getting yeah so these are having exactly the 4.9 ratings okay so these are the food which is having 4.9 rating and you can get out the details of those things right so we have phone numbers location address the food names and a lot of things right almost around some 25 okay So you can read according to your index column, like what you want to explore, you can just use these things. Right? Uh, similarly, we can also find that to after the location of this, we can also find uh, where this data is or where this order, uh, order, yes and no is there. Okay. So you can generate your questions and like you can, you can do these things, right? I'm not doing much so like my main motto my main motto was to make you clear that even you can make up something you can scrape a data which is having a string value to a numerical value and then you can find out the things right similarly we can find out the minimum rating of food or like the median rating of food right the minimum like the average average one would be you know right average would be or uh, if you can pass on your functions to this You remember this method it is mm. it is your rate I think it's rate mm. so this is rate and no new is there yeah so Think you must be remembering this card from flexible types. Okay. okay, these are unicodes, that's a problem. Still, you can just find the means, like how you find the maximum value, you can find the minimum value of those things. So, you can convert, you'll have to make the integer of all those things, and then you'll have to store it. Right. So, these are in the 
Unicode, right? So Okay, so you can just write the things like this. Okay. So we have one more data set of like uh, that is the Spotify data set like for the uh, uh, like data by genres like uh, genres or like your artist and okay. So we are going to see the Indian names data. Let's see that. So what is exactly in this data? Uh, Indian names are not there. Where it is? Capital I and capital N. So first we'll see the info of our data and that is like you are having some 30,054 names and there you have some 30,000 genders, right? So one object and one integer, exactly, that is name and gender. So let's see this. That is that the random there are some names of the person what can be in India, right? So in India, what can be the name of a male person or female person and their genders. So gender would be in some integer values, right? So if you see your IND of this gender, and I think it's capital Z. Yes. So there is zero and combination of one. So one stands for, let's see, one. I think one stands for female here. Yes, and zero stands for the male. So if you see the tail of this, there is one over there. So if you just find the So yes, that can be females, right? These are females actually. So I have some female names and the male names, right? So how many males and how many females? A basic question right is there. How will you calculate the number of males and females? Just win one single line of code. Yes. That's it. Number of males and number of females. Comsi will say, Comsi say, number of males and females in the data set. Like only 30,000 are there. He can differentiate the things.
so zero stand for males it is around 40000 plus and females is also 40000 plus that's quite good nice right so just an overview we can see it and we can also count it list of then of set of like this let's say copy and we'll paste it so no we'll not be getting mails over there hmm? not like this then top set of that will be getting only two because you are making set and in set items cannot be duplicated Understood. You can say this to be the list of ID of gender, and you can search for this one. Oh, sorry, zero. Thirty thousand. Oh, that will be a problem. And um, dot count true. Integer has no length. So first find these things that's correct and then we can count the things as twenty and pass through fourteen thousand seven hundred and seventy six. Let's see from our data it's like around fourteen thousand plus. That's fine. Okay. Similarly, the females. Fifteen to seventy-eight. Okay. Now you can differentiate the names too. Like you can make the names, the female names, are apart. Uh, one side and the male names one side you can make it like so how to differentiate or how to make a different set of the female names and the male names I'm just saying tf dot gender int gender value counts okay Yeah, that's okay, fine. Like in the one line, you can write for that. Okay. Hmm. So the number of uh, like how we can separate the name of the females and the name of the males, like from this way, using some like lock or illog, I lock there. How will you separate? Okay, see, uh, try to understand what I'm saying. Among this 30,000 names, we are having like all the names on it, right? So, see what are your names? I and D, and then you're going to see your names. Right? Or it would be name, I think. So you have some 30,054 names over there. Is there any unique values or unique names? Okay, most of the time things are repeated on. So 14,990 names are there. Apart from this, how you can separate on the males and the females. List of ind dot locate. Uh, yeah. That is the exactly use of operations, you say. So list of ind dot locate of the CEO. Uh, gender is 
problem right so you can't locate because see uh, you have used locate that's nice that's okay but see locating by zero will not be because it is not a row like it is not the index value right for that you will have to read your like the data set according to this gender so you can write if you are performing this operation so you can write it as this line particular so if you want to perform uh, this operation you could write it as your gender You can say this uh, ind dot locate and you can find for this uh, one that would be around some 15,000 names over there, right? We'll be getting some names, right? These are the names of this people, and similarly, you can find this females change the index as gender. Yes, that's what I was saying. So that like you can uh, explore on these things. Okay. Thanks. Now I have a data set of this. Uh, let me uh, let me just download this one. Let me upload it here. I will look down to uh, find the like number of mm, data sets here. Let's say now we are going to work on this hospital data set. dot csv yes d13 is somewhere else running d13 in data science training So let's see the info of this data set. So here we'll get like you have the number of states, number of primary health centers, community health centers, sub district hospitals, and sub those values are there, right? So there are some count of this number of uh, like hospitals or facilities in like India, okay? And there are around 12 columns and 37 rows, right? So what are the index you can see that is your, oh sorry this is H. So that is zero, so starting from zero ending it 
37 I'm going with an interval of 1 it's nice so let's see the data so this is the first n rows like the state you are having number of primary health centers in particular state number of community health centers there district hospitals and so on everything right so having a count of all these things here right? now now this is a numerical data that has got right you can work on here now uh, let's say if i want to make this or i want to access the number of okay now let's see how much you work on now let's say i want to find the number of this uh, sub district hospitals in delhi what should i write the number of sub district hospitals in delhi if this is your data set look onto it and say number of sub district hospitals in delhi what should be the command to write on that Yes, number of uh, this, uh, you can say, community health centers in this study. How do you go through this? Anyone there? Try something. It's like this are easy now you have dealt with some of the, we are dealing with pandas from last two days i think you might do this that's easy right you only want the number of uh, sub district hospitals this you want this number of sub district hospitals in this telly that's it i can see the value that's nine how to print that Alas to Alas to Sneha using x dot at. Mm. Okay, any other thing? Yes, like Sneha, what do you think? What should we use? She is saying to use at. So what exactly AT works here is uh, this access a single value <coughs> of a row or column just by using the label figures like you can use AT or like IAT using for the index one you can use IAT. So AT can be used but just by giving some labels like for the values and then the particular uh, thing. Let's say she is saying to use AT that's correct. So we'll write H dot AT and First thing you will have to write your uh, your you can say the values of your rows what you want right so particular row value and then you will have to write the particular column value so here if I write Delhi that would be uh, if I just say I am writing for Delhi and I want this column. That would be wrong. Okay. Why? Because this is not any particular row or index number. In place, if you write 10, so So in place if you write the number of this index position that is 9 
So always when you read your data, that's why, that's why I just uh, reported this as kind of thing so that you can see. So whenever you want to manipulate over your data, you want to iterate over your just want to, yeah, that is my, my example, yeah. Someone says Delhi, no, this will be wrong. This will not work. Uh, this will work. 10 will give the 11th one, 9 will give the 10th one, index values or else if you write your data according to your index values so let's say you are reading this as and you say that your index should be this state ut so if you read this, your data by this like one second there's some index column so in that time your index would be changed and this time your index would be this number of states we are having which is like this mm -hmm. and the head would be also changed now so this time your number of heads would be or your like the head would be according to this now you can assign the things like you can say that if you want this study data and you will get it accordingly right so index matters a lot of thing when you work in your data frames or any time with the data set index matters on right so always try to uh, like work with a particular index or not with that 0 1 2 3 4 like okay so this can be used if I uh, index my values as by according to my uh, state and this can be used by the default how it comes okay that can be used by this moreover you can also like you can write it like locate a particular index value if you know that okay so you can also say to locate a particular index so if i write it as h dot loc and then if i say delhi we'll be getting the delhi column over there like like you can just explore now what you want exactly moreover you can write it as h Uh, in the study still you will get the values like first you write the column names and then you write the row name okay so it if it would be having by the default what you what you write there that is your number of this and then your ninth over there right that was an index but this time it will not like it, you can write it by nine that is an particular the index values are getting there. Right. so still you will be working but if you write it as like if you run it with the index values that would be better right so things goes good if you work with index columns right so ha like have a habit of working with some index columns that will help you right so how many null values or how many NAN values are there in this data? That is easy. So null values would be h dot is null. And you see null values we are having some null values over this some district hospitals mm -hmm. so sub district hospitals are having seven dis uh, seven null values so let's say this uh, to be seen in a mapping and So you have some seven boxes that is one two three four five six seven right so seven null values seven boxes over there like this you can see your things over. Hmm. so seven of the null values so you can even delete the things you we, we read yesterday how we can just drop on or like you can say to drop the null values so that is brop Sorry, H. Drop the null values. Uh, you could better store this in H. So if you see this H, mm, there would be some changes now in this one. Okay, so some null values would be uh, 
like delete it. So if you see our shape, so it will be 30 cross 1, 11. And when you loaded your data, what was the shape? See, it was 37 by 11. Okay, so you can see the difference that it was 37 by 11 and now it's 30 cross 11. So 7 has been dropped. Okay, because it was having a, here you see the 7 null values was there in this third sub -district. So if you just see now the uh, you can say the index values or if you just pass on to see the index, there you see some of the things has been like reduced, you can say, or like dropped on there. Like some are missing from here, right? What are missing? You can see you can find the difference right? after the class. Find these things where you have been missing with some of the null values over there. Hmm? So to find if I say if I say this, how many uh, what are the total public facilities in like let's say uh, Karnataka, right? So total public facilities in Karnataka, or how many uh, in all over the India, how many uh, facility or how many states are having more than five hundred total public facilities? I like for that if I say. In this all states, if I want, if I want to find the total public facilities uh, greater than 500, how to find that? So the number of uh, states who is having more than 500 uh, total public health facilities. You should keep on practicing. Like this in the question answers is quickly. Yes. So I'm asking for the number of not this. So the first thing we come in our mind is that we'll pass on these things like that. And we'll get a series of these things, right? So there are some states having true values, there are some states having false of the values, and that are like, okay. So what I asked the total public health facilities, total public health facilities. <laughs> so let's say health facilities and more than 500 was so health facilities of underscore 500 this is like a series so let's convert this in a list and then we'll count for the true objects and then hf underscore 500 so 20 states are having more than 500 so it's just coming here okay right so 20 of the states are having more than 500 public facilities in this data set hmm? so if i want to print all these state names of this all 20 state names how to print that all the 20 states which are having more than 500 public uh, facility, facilities so let's say it should be more than 600 okay let it be 500 so among 30 states we got it that total public health facilities are only uh, more than 500 are only in the 20 states if we increase the values if you see on if we increase if let's say it's 700 if we increase down the values to 700, we'll see the decrement. Oh, that is 16. Still, this is good, right? Still, according to the situation, like this is the data up to 2018, right? So, this might be increased now. So, if we see approx over this thousand,
so don't consider one because what will happen if you see the tail of this h if you see the tail of this the last element is the record of all india right so we will not count this one because this will obviously be having some more than some 1200 or, or like more than some thousand values right this will be having obviously because this is the sum of all those so we are not going to count this last one so if we are, if we are getting 14 then we are we think that we are having 13 right so we are having some 13 of the states so to print the 13 state names yes yeah having this uh, like uh, more than 1000 in here right and now you are asked to print all these things you can see a series of that right don't you can see the series you can just write on this if you don't pass on this values of this You just say this like you can see a series see all india is also having true results right so you what you can do is you can just slice on the things here like only the true values or like you want to drop the false values okay so you can go with this you can uh, search for the true values so what are the true values anyone give any code still not there okay let will think on that so we have true values we can see like in andhra in assam and like Chittisgarh and bihar okay so there are some of the true values excluding we are not going to uh, read it from the all india right so we want the state names exactly of those who are having a true values yes it is answer what should be the method to find the state values of this is to say to find the state names what should i write east mode what is cool east mode hmm you are having false values you are having true values Now this will give the error as we got yesterday that will create an error that exactly. So how to get that? This is exactly a you can say on values like if you say true or false values you say h is equals to or h f is equals to this. So hf will have this like if you pass on things like if I just say on that this is HF so to apply some more things like you can see this HF as a dictionary now now can you now print the things yes I made something easy for you so now can you think on like what you can do with this now you want only the keys which is having true result and I'll say this to do this pop icon so that this last one should be removed and I could have the best things over there. Hmm. HF of true. So they are saying HF of true. So HF of true, you are saying. Clear. See, dictionary you always uh, do indexing like with the key names, right? So true is a value, obviously. 
So you'll have to do indexing with some of the key names. Let's say if the values is true That is the outcome. These are the states having two values 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, excluding all India. So we have 13 values. Any more commands out there? HF dot values to be equals equals true. Mm. HF dot on this HF dot values to be true. Sorry, false. Values are true and false. See, so have only true and false values. Okay, understood. Right, you can index out the things you can use. So again, I'm saying everything can be done if you right go with the basics. See, we I, I just made a list of names. I passed on four x in this hf. Right, and this is dictionary. And I know this X will be the uh, key of that dictionary, right? So in HF of any dictionary value is true, I'll append the value of this dictionary or I will append the value of that particular key. So that I have appended there and I got the values. So we are trying to write it from the values. So let's see if we can do with some of some things with the values. So he is trying to get the values so you can uh, say to print out the list of you can write it as you can say to be print hf There are true results, right?
and then we'll see um, we can use get key of that dictionary to find these things so I'm not remembering this whole moment get key can be used as to find out the with that dot values Okay, we'll see it later on. So let's proceed with now. So you can find out the things like you can just see on the overall data. And I'll do this thing in the last of the session. Now let's explore the different data. Let's say I'm bringing this ICMR testing labs. Okay, and let this be IC dot read the CSV. ICMR CSV. This is always a mistake. Over there. So IC dot head. If you see, so you'll have number of labs in your data set. You will have their addresses, the pin codes, city, and the states. Even if the type of that or the particular laboratory. So how many kind of total laboratories are there? Like uh. Now I'll asking some questions to particular person, right? So let's say start with Vamsi. So Vamsi, answer if I want to find the number of labs or like the type of labs. Let's say don't go for the number. I want to find the type of the labs in this data set. What command should I write? Yes, expecting answers from Vamsi. The type of uh, laboratories. Mm. Yes. Okay. Uh, let's ask some Diksha. Diksha, you say what you'll do. DF laboratories dot unique. We can use set. We can use. Hmm. Yeah, a set is a basic. And I'm just saying to use this laboratories dot unique. That is like right? don't go with the laboratories. You will have to go with the type. Okay, okay. That your concept is clear. So you are saying to print IC dot or IC of type with unique. Diksha is saying to go with the set of IC of type. So both of them have clear conceptions. Okay, right. Now my next question. Now I'll asking. I see of types of unique. Correct. Fine. Sir. Yes, I'm see. Sir, uh, in the same way, if I just consider length. Length. Yes. Ah, uh, what I'll get in the result? I mean, Three. how many type of hospital uh, laboratories are there? No, in length you will get the count of the laboratories. Like, see, it's three or three over there. Okay, sir. Okay. Uh, okay, sir. List, sir. List. List will give uh, just a list of elements like this, but list will not give you this three over there. Uh, if you uh, if you write list here, that will give you almost three. Everything. Okay, sir. So you need only the uh, set ones, right? Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Welcome. Okay. 
this values are just yeah this true are here if i write it as Keys and value argument for print. Let's see. I want to go with the true. Boolean is not callable over there. This is having some true values. Uh, HF is your dictionary, okay? And HF is having some true and false values. HF. Yeah, it is having some true and the false values, and those are not in the string here itself. Okay. Let's see if it would have been. Uh, like a number or something like that, we get this pass on minimum or like this. We can say this to be Okay, maybe it will go on later onwards. Yeah, so my next question is uh, let's see, what should I ask? Yeah, how many states are there? Uh, this question is to Sneha. How many states? And next question to frame how many pin codes? Sneha is saying 29 states. Okay, <laughs> tell me the code there. <laughs> tell me that code to write here. She is saying that India is having 29 states. Next question to frame Shekhar how many? pin codes len parameter not closed oh, sorry parenthesis is not closed sorry sorry sir i was typing by mistake i just entered okay okay pin codes yeah, like yeah this where it is yeah having a pin codes how many pin codes is there any common pin codes if yes then which of them are common If there are common pin codes, then how many common are there? And how many times they have been the common? So this question is to Prem Shikhar as well as uh, Pooja and Supriya and Sai Teja and Yutta. Yes, Neha, 29 states are there. Yes, exactly. But there are 29 states in India, right? So, what about this data set? How many states this is having? Let's see. So, that is again similar. This is having 34. You said 29. Make sure I say it's something. List of set of data names, sets, states, and count true. 
What I asked to you, Diksha, I did it depend on the question. List of set of data name of set states. All right, let it be H or I C of states as it is state equals count true. Why we are not going to find any true something over there? So you don't need to count any true things. You just need to count. Okay, let's see what are the states here. If we are getting these values, why we are getting 34? Let's see. Because I can see it's having uh, some like also the territories. I think it's having some territories also. Uh, in and this territory. What else? Ladakh. Hmm. There are some separated things also. If you find, you will get it there. Apart from the normal one we have. Mm -hmm. Okay, so these are the states, right? These are the states. Right? What about the next question? Answer. I see of pin code start count. Copy this. Done. 